Hi guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we covered many ways to handle overflowing text. We looked at text wrapping, text breaking, and text hyphenation. In the comments section of that video, the use of a CSS ellipsis on overflowing text was mentioned. So an ellipsis, for those of you that don't know, is a punctuation type represented by a series of three dots, which typically signifies either a pause or an intentional omission of a word, a sentence, or a whole section of text if you were reading copy. We can create one in CSS if we have text that is too long or in danger of overflowing. So let's look at an example. You might have seen an ellipsis on social media. On Twitter and Facebook, for example, they make use of the ellipsis when you try to post a really long link URL. The URL will work as expected and direct you to the right place, but to keep things tidy in the body of a tweet or of a Facebook post, they clip off the end of the link and replace the sliced text with an ellipsis and it looks a lot cleaner. The same thing on YouTube. Usually when I post a video, I will add some extra bits of information in the description to the videos as most people posting on YouTube do. Sometimes these might be code pens or GitHub repos where you can find the same code that I'm working with in the video and code along if you feel like it. Plus, I might add links to further reading resources on websites like MDN, for example. And you see that any URLs over a given length are not fully displayed. They are cut off at a certain point and the missing text is signified with, you got it, an ellipsis. I suspect that this is actually done on YouTube with JavaScript. You could create a simple function to spit out a link with truncated clickable text but we can do something similar with CSS. So let's look at an example of how we would put this into action. So here I have a code pen and we have some really long URLs that could display in quite an untidy way. When I add them to the video description, YouTube, as we mentioned, is going to trim these and we're gonna do exactly the same here. So here we have a mock-up of some things that you might see in a YouTube description, and we're gonna to try to make some of these long links a little bit cleaner. There are plenty of situations where you will encounter this type of problem. You could be using a row of three or four cards, um, perhaps a pricing section on a website, or perhaps you're limited in some way to a column that is a fixed width container and the link is overflowing. We saw techniques to deal with this in the last video. We could potentially have the text wrap. We could also have it hyphenate or we could have it break in suitable places like uh, forward slashes. But here for our links, none of these seem particularly appropriate, so we're going to use the CSS ellipsis. We will start by applying the CSS text overflow property. If we quickly head to this page on MDN, uh, which I have links below in the description, it says that we can use the text overflow property to set how our hidden overflow content is signaled to users. We can have it clipped, or the one that we want is to have an ellipsis. So if we set text overflow to the ellipsis value, nothing happens, as we've got one more step to go. We need to set the overflowing text to do something, and we want that, in this case, to be hidden. And we can do this by using the overflow property with the value of hidden. And now that gives us an ellipsis, signifying that we have some overflowing text. If we adjust the size of the container, we see that the text that is hidden behind the ellipsis adapts and changes to suit the width of the container, which is pretty cool. But there's one more thing that we should do, and that is we want to give the user an opportunity to be able to see the full length of text, including the hidden part. If we were creating a full scale application, perhaps in this case we might create a button to show the text that's hidden in um, an accordion style, but here we're only using CSS, so we are instead going to give users an option to hover over the text and display it in its entirety. We can do that by going into the HTML 
and simply adding a title attribute. And the attribute value is going to be the text that we want to display on hover. And in our case, it's what we have here already, plus what is hidden behind the ellipsis. Now, when we hover the cursor over one of these truncated links, we see that the URL is shown in full, which is pretty awesome. So that's it. Just a quick tip for you guys on how you can use a CSS ellipsis on overflowing text to create these truncated links that you might see on places like YouTube or Twitter or elsewhere. The ellipsis lets us tidy up tight spaces and we can also display the full text on hover with the title attribute. So I hope that's useful to you. As always, I really do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.